Welcome to the new episode of Help the Big Bar in association with the Quarry. Every week we'll be interviewing a wide range of people while they get to inform the Quarry's name. Today we'll be interviewing BA drama student Lingo, who's also part of the Dance School. You are part of Pology uh, Dance School. Can you tell us more about the dance school and what Pology means to you? Um, Pology is a crew of five members. We're from Zimbabwe, every one of us. And then two of the guys are here right now. That's me and Rodwell. And then one guy is in Joburg, and then the other two are in Zim. But then they'll be joining us at the end of the year for like some stuff that we'll be doing. Yeah. So what got you uh, into dancing? Personally, like way, way back in my grade two, I think, I saw this one show, they came to our school and they performed, and that like really, really inspired me to just dance, because I didn't know what I want to do, but then when I saw that, I'm like, okay, that, I want to learn how to do that, and I just got into it, and over time, I got better and better, and then still practice to dance. Okay, so your name is Netem Bendlovu, what inspired the name Blinko? Um... Funny story actually, so I used to watch TV like super close mm -hmm. and then that had a strain in my eyes obviously so I'll be like blinking a lot, blinking a lot then people started calling me blink because they were like yo don't blink, you might miss a dance move that he'll do or something <laughs> and then um, one of the guys from the United States, Las Vegas, uh, his name is Kito mm -hmm. So like he really influenced me a lot, and then he went from blank to blank. Blank. That's how I have. Cool. Now you from Zimbabwe, so what is the difference between uh, the dance community in Zimbabwe compared to the one in South Africa? Um, I think it's the opportunities, because like there's so many talented dancers back home that don't have the same opportunities that we do. That's why like we're going so hard every time we try to make sure. 100 percent um the passion for dance is pretty much the same mm -hmm. like there's a lot of passion both here and that side but the biggest thing is opportunity i think oh, I see. Yeah. so you are currently studying drama at the university of pretoria now i'm guessing you can act so what are you more passionate about acting or dancing um when it comes to passion dance definitely takes preference that's like my heart and soul like I love it so much it's just that's my thing and then with acting I also realized because I mean I have to eat okay. and stuff so that the way the situation is set up right now like in terms of the industry actors get paid more than dancers so I have to follow both but like when it comes to passion what I love the most definitely dance has to be that yeah. okay now uh the dance school, Pology Dance School, had the opportunity of dancing for South Africans, South African female rapper, The Root. How was the experience and what has the crew and you have learned from that experience? I mean, Rouge, that's like our sister now. Like, we're so close to her. She's part of family. Um, she gave us, like, so many platforms. Like, we've performed in so many places we would have never dreamed of because of her. So, above everything else, I like, think confidence. Like, she always tells us, yo, you guys are dope, you guys are dope, just keep doing your thing. And also learning the traits of the business, like in the arts. I don't think enough people get to see like what happens from the top down. And it's a really beautiful platform that she's put us on because now we get to learn what we learn in university in terms of studying drama. And then you also apply that knowledge in the outside world. So yeah, shout shout out to her. Rouge, we love you. So what are the things that you wish to actually attain or achieve with your artistry at large? Um, ultimately my goal is Okay, it might sound like I'm reaching, mm -hmm. but um, I want to have a voice as big as Trevor Noah. Like, you know how he big he is. Yeah. When he says something, people will hear what he's saying. So, if I work hard at what I do, be it acting, dancing, presenting, screenwriting, anything, like I put 100% into that. So, if I get a voice as big as that, I can channel that to Zimbabwe, the Lawa I specifically went from. Because there's so many talented people. So, if I attain a voice as big as that, and I just channel people to look that way. And then people in Bulawayo can get the exposure that they deserve. That's ultimately my goal, just to pick people from Zimbabwe. Okay. Well, Blinko, thank you very much for coming to me. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. Don't forget to tune in next week right here for another episode with Bell with the Vapor in association with The Grind.